it's day 54 today morning was a pleasant surprise because my cook didn't wake me up and i was a little confused where my cook is then she called me and informed me that because it was holy she would not be coming today that is when i understood that i had to cook the lunch today holy is not being celebrated in bangalore because of the water crisis like it is being celebrated but only like a dry holy apparently they are even handing out fines to people who are overusing water or misusing water so it's kind of a sad holy in bangalore so i made this very easy overnight oats and it has very few ingredients and all ingredients are like not very fancy so it's very easy to make first you know just put oats and chia seeds if you have them in a glass jar uh, or any kind of bowl and then add a uh, curd to it or milk so i am a little lactose intolerant so i didn't uh, use milk i used curd instead and uh, and then for a little bit of sweetness i added a little bit of jaggery powder and some honey to it and i cut up one banana and i added that and uh, i added in terms of nuts i added little bit almonds and the one which my uh, cook had cut like the top of i added a little bit of almonds and uh, few raisins so that was it i didn't know how it would come out and i put all of that in the fridge uh, today i saw that you know uh, something was not right because uh, the thing is that the curd has a very little water so uh, the chia seeds and the oats both of them need to soak to become soft but what had happened because the curd has so less water only a little layer became soft rest of it was you know dry as it was the day before so then i took it out i mixed it around and i added a little bit of water to it and put it back in the fridge then it came out amazing so what you need to do is add a little bit of water and also mix all the ingredients don't put it in layers and put it inside it doesn't work out like that i started working on this case study after my breakfast which was the work that i did in my last company which was building an educational app there was a lot of organization in terms of the screens and the ux that needed to be kind of written because uh, during that time we had a pm who used to do the ux for us and uh, we don't have access to those files so basically i had to go back and recall what all we had done and then put it down so that was something that i was working on for some time then i wanted to take a break from you know just uh, doing this ux research thing because it was i was kind of rushing it i felt because i wanted to complete it so to take a break i went to the gym so while working on the treadmill i watched a couple of videos on front end development which the course that i'm doing so i'm about 28 29% done of the course my friend also called me yusuf so he he uh, was kind of busy in the morning he called me and we discussed you know how we would proceed with the number of projects that we had so we have this other work we that reward z work that we are doing you might have uh, heard about it from me before and then there was this couple of case studies from our previous pro, uh, previous companies that also we had to do so we decided to you know prioritize reward z first finish that off and then uh, get our hands into the other things i think one of the most important lessons that i learned after so many days of trying to be productive is you can be busy every day but does not mean that you are productive and to be productive you have to prioritize tasks at least that works for me that you know finish one thing and then not worry about it while you are doing your other task as what happens you work on everything simultaneously and when you are working on something uh, some thoughts from the previous project or the project running parallelly might bother you so that kind of doesn't work out for me it might work out for people who can do a lot of uh, multitasking for me it's better if i work on one project at one time so once yusuf said that he wanted to work and he was kind of like you know busy in the morning and he could uh, give time now i hurried back from the gym and i took a bath quickly and we sat down so i didn't have a lot of time because i had not shot my vlog 
and that is the reason why i'm shooting this vlog in the morning yeah i'm just getting it out of the way uh, in the first half of the day so that once i sit down to work in the later half of the day i do not come back and think ki i have to you know uh, finish the work and go shoot my vlog so we sat down to work and we kind of were brainstorming about this rewards the work that we are doing and what is the uh, idea behind it what is the ux behind it right? the, the research behind it so we kind of uncovered that we are building a platform which is both for uh, store owners and for customers uh, but the thing is that for when you are writing a problem statement for your ux research you can write only one problem statement so we were kind of confused that should we write it only about the store owners or should we write it only about the customers who are coming to the stores and through a little bit of research uh, i kind of found out that you can write a statement that uh, caters to both but right now because we are just building the customer side we rather just tackle that problem statement and not tackle the problem statement of the store owners right now so that is how we proceeded further and we were able to get uh, done a couple of things like uh, the problem statement the solutions and the user personas we were able to finish all that and after that i had to take a break because i had to shoot my vlog once i sat down to shoot my vlog and it, it took a lot of time because yesterday i was experimenting with a couple of sound effects a bit of uh, editing uh, cuts and tricks and transitions so uh, i didn't care that much that would it go out by 12 or not even though i was able to put it out before 12 but i was kind of focusing on you know trying to improve my editing game a little bit format of my last video was shorter and it was a little bit different because i cut down on the intro also a thumb rule is that you know people don't tend to stick after 5 6 seconds of your intro right and there's a huge uh, drop in the percentage of viewers who are watching your video and what when i see my videos i see that you know the first 5 6 seconds is just this very slow opener so i decided to cut that out and do something different out of it so that is what i probably will continue in the coming videos also but also my video journey my vlogging journey will come to an end very soon because i am not planning to post videos after my 20 second video and i am this is the 20th video i i guess so that is because i want to explore more uh, formats in terms of doing more researched content or content which is more valuable to other people because this kind of content is something like uh, you come and spend time with me right and learn about what i am doing if you know just like an online friend so after editing my video uh, it was kind of like late i uploaded it around 12 and so i decided to retire for the night but and then i went down this rabbit hole why accenture is not letting me uh, apply for jobs that i made a new account i tried to apply whenever you enter your name your surname and your date of birth they match it with the database no matter whatever uh, email id you have signed up with so it's no use to doing all that till 3 o'clock in the night i went to sleep that's it for day 54 i'll see you in the next video